This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, own boy Josh, back at you, fresh from the Atlanta Vape Showcase. We had an awesome time this weekend. It was delightful seeing all these awesome vapors, new and familiar faces, and anyone that stopped by to say hello to me, thank you for taking the time to say hi. It was uh, overwhelming how many people came up to me. <laughs> I uh, got a lot of hugs, I got a lot of high fives, I signed a couple autographs even. I never thought I'd ever sign an autograph in my life. That's weird. It was weird. You two guys that got autographs, you blew my mind a little bit. I didn't realize that how <laughs> many people knew who I was. That was, that was a trip, man. Uh, a lot of fun uh, to say hello to everyone, but a little bit overwhelming. And uh, I, I thank you just for saying hi. Appreciate it. I ran into Gizzard Stew and Yeti's uncle and they gave me a spork around a necklace for spork life and I was running around with that all day. I got to sit down with Christine from Beauty and the Vape for a while and, and she has this new thing going on where she's working with the Vapor's voice and everyone's sharing their vape stories to the Vapor's voice and it was awesome to be a part of that. I love having the time to sit down with her and give a short interview about you know why I started vaping, what vaping means to me. And they're collecting Vapor's stories and putting those together and they're going to be sending them off to representatives in hopes that they'll listen to what vaping can do for people. And it's, it's just a wonderful project that they've put together where they are collecting these stories, giving us a voice. I think that's wonderful. Have them all collected in one place from any vapor out there. I think it's fantastic. You know, a vapor story is, you know, how we made the switch, what difference it's made in our lives. Those are stories that people need to share and people need to hear. And I think it's fantastic that something is being put together to collect those stories. I saw Andrew, heavy metal vapor. Haven't seen him in a long while. I got to see, I got to meet Ambitions Vapor in person. That was kind of cool. And who else? Who else? If I'm forgetting you, I'm sorry. It was just, it was awesome. Saw a ton of great vendors, bought a ton of juice, bought some new hardware as well. Pick this box up over at the local vape booth. This box, I'd never heard of it. I'd never seen it. I didn't know anything about it other than when I looked at it and saw it's big and I like it. <laughs> it's a DNA 200 tri triple battery, but they're done like long ways so it's a really big box it's a really big box and i love that because there's not enough really big boxes out there they're just obnoxious and fun but i mean i like a big mod I, I like something that's too big for my hands it's a little too big for my hands but i love it anyway i also got the headshot picked up the headshot with the purge deck we got the purge booth of course and they're really cool guys the first one that they gave me i had a fucked up screw and i went back today uh, right before we were leaving and the guys at the convention were cool enough to let me back in just to run in and swap it out and they swapped it out no problems. Now I've got a purge deck that's working perfectly. I also got to see a company that I see every time I'm at a convention. Every convention except one, except one convention. We missed you guys there if you're watching. Um, just the tip. I've been to, I gotta say it's probably seven conventions at this point. And we've seen them at every single one and we've bought tips from them at every single one and we've bought tips outside the conventions with them too because they're just that awesome and that's what this video is going to be about really it's about just the tip and this video is long overdue too i should have done a video on just the tip a bunch of times there's so many times i should have done a video on just the tip just because they're awesome. And I can tell you without a doubt, in my opinion, my honest opinion, they're the best vendor in the vape industry. Absolutely the best vendor in terms of customer service, in terms of the love they put into their product. They're always welcoming, they're always friendly, but it's beyond that. I mean, they leave you warm and fuzzies when you buy something from them. When I buy something from them, when my wife buys something from them, we, we always make it a point to visit them every time it's because they're they're awesome and we love to buy tips from them they are beautiful beautiful tips and they make them to fit every device out there 
and you can put in orders directly to their website. So if you're not in a position where you can go out to a convention to see them in person, you can have your tips custom made at their website and their turnaround time is fantastic. They're backed with a lifetime warranty and they're all hand turned on a lathe. I feel really bad because I didn't get any footage at the convention. I just, I'm kind of shy at heart, <laughs> you know, to be honest with you. I really am kind of shy at heart. I, I don't know. I mean, even at 30,000 plus 34,000 subscribers now, I just feel weird um, walking around uh, broadcasting with a camera outside of this room. As funny as that sounds, that, that's the truth. And instead we went to the aquarium. It was awesome. We love the aquarium. We saw these giant whale sharks and these giant... Um, stingrays and otters and all kinds of fun shit and we had a great time me and the waffles you know like i said i was supposed to be at the convention two hours early i'd secured a press pass so i could get in there and i could do some filming and hopefully get some interviews and all that kind of stuff so i could put a face to some of these products that i came home with you know i wanted to have you know an interview with purge mods i wanted to have an interview with just the tip i just felt it's weird to say that i'm shy uh that and say that i and at the same time, in the same breath, say I have 34,000 subscribers, but no, it's true. I'm very, very shy. I'm extremely shy. <laughs> anyway, um, I ended up not claiming the press pass just because I didn't feel comfortable taking my free pass when I didn't go into the press hour. So we paid for our ticket. Uh, but anyway, just a tip. These guys make the most beautiful, beautiful tips. Ming style tips, they make um, a lot of the tips that we have, you know, they are Ming's. You know, we like Ming style, they're very, very comfortable. This one in particular, this dino bone one is one of my favorite tips, one of my favorites. That one along with a couple of the others that they've sent me. They sent me three tips. They, they told me not to tell this story before, but I'm going to tell it anyway. There was a company that I made a video about not too, too long ago, where I was very, very upset that I hadn't received a product I'd purchased from them uh, about two years prior. And they were back in business under another name. And I don't believe that they're in business under that name anymore either. When Just a Tip saw that video, they sent me three tips just because they felt so awful about what had happened. They approached like they told me they wanted to send me some products and I thought they wanted a review or something. So naturally when they approached me, I said, absolutely, I love you guys' tips. We see you at every convention, I can't wait. But when they came in and I saw what the tips were and how similar they were to this, this order I remember putting in from years ago, I scratched my head for a second and then there was this note inside explaining how they felt so awful about what had happened that they wanted to do what they could to make that right. This is a company that has nothing to do with, you know, what happened or anything like that, but they just, you know, they care that much about the industry and the image of the industry and uh, general customer service and customer satisfaction that they are trying to pick up the slack for, you know, another company that slacked off. I just thought that was incredible. And I'd always loved them even before that, but that just, they're, they're just too cool. Too fucking cool. And, and apparently they'd done that for everyone that they could who was ripped off by this guy. They're a wonderful company to buy from uh, because of that customer service mindset. There are a lot of great companies out in the vape community. Never had a bad experience with anyone but that one company that I really just, you know. Vapor DNA will swap out, you know, a, a faulty product for you, no problem. Never had an issue with Vapor DNA. Dog Mods, when Dog Mods was making products, you know, I had a problem with my mod where the battery wasn't functioning properly, which was my fault because I let the battery die completely. Sent it off to, to him and he sent it back to me repaired and ready to go. And of course I let the battery die again because I'm an idiot. But it's, those are just a couple examples of other companies that have given me great customer service. But just a tip, you know, they keep me coming back time after time after time. There's very few other drip tips that I have that aren't just a tip. I mean, in terms of, you know, higher end 
style drip tips. They keep a small amount of tips in stock on their website that you can just buy and go. They're generally in around the $25, $27 range or so. And they also have the option where you can design your own for about $25. We've had them custom designed before and they've never ever let us down. They've always come out beautiful. Some of these that are, are really interesting with these circuit board kind of, <laughs> they're just really cool. I always love the circuit boards. One day I might pick one up, but you know, they have a few ready-made and ready to go. A few Mings, a few standard style drip tips, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to get something custom made. Over here, right at the top left, there's something that says design your own. You just click on that and you choose your topper first. You decide what device you want this for. And they have this huge list, huge list of devices that you can have these custom made for. They have them for everything, everything. With their online designer, you can choose the shape and actually see it being created on the left-hand side of the screen there. You can actually get an idea of exactly what you're designing as you're going through this process. So you can go with something like this arrowhead style and you can choose your material and it updates on the left as well so you can see exactly what you're getting. You know, they're gonna have some variations like the acrylic depending upon how it's cut might look a slightly different way, but it makes it really, really easy and get an idea, you know, what it's gonna look like when all is said and done. And then you can add like sort of a top to it as well if you want in all kinds of different materials. And there's, you know, different price points for certain materials if you wanna add things or is that that's a, something like this would run me about $35, but it's a completely custom tip. No one else is gonna have that particular tip. They're all gonna be unique. They're all gonna be hand carved and lead times for something like this, they're only about five days. And this is for standard tips, smaller sort of bore sort of standard tips that are great for any device, really. You can use these in a lot of different devices. If you don't care about a wide bore, for example. Now, if you want something to fit a specific device, they also have options for that as well. Uh, you can choose any number of devices here. They've got things for the Dark Horse, the Doge V3, the Glacier V3, the Griffin, the Kennedy and Goon, the Mod Father, the Moonshot, the Recoil, the Roughneck, the Temple, the TFV12, the TFV8, the Twisted Messes, the VCST, you can choose all sorts of different devices and have something sort of custom made to your liking. Take the VCST for example, that drip tip is a weird one. I mean, the VCST, one of my favorite tanks, it's got like this super deep sort of insert which cuts off the fill ports. The Clino tips are really cool. My brother-in-law has a few of them. And you get the same sort of acrylic options with all these different styles, which is really awesome. My favorite, of course, have to be the Wideboard Mings. They've got a few of them on their site right now. They're super comfortable. I use them in pretty much anything that allows for a 510 style drip tip with a press fit sort of style. One of my favorites is this one. This one for, that I got from them at the last convention I went to. It has bits of cut up money in there. And I've had another one from another company that had money in it as well, because it's a cut up money, but that one, it just didn't have the same refinement as this one did. The acrylic was not as thick. The feel of it on the lips, it felt kind of unfinished in comparison to this, which has this sort of more polish finish to it, making it much, much more comfortable overall. This is one of my favorite ones, and it's one that I've sort of stolen from my wife. <laughs> Waffles, this is Waffles Tip, this uh, sort of snakeskin web, sort of Chantilly lace kind of thing going on, and that one just, you know, I've used it for a very, very long time, and I, I stole it from the Waffles. Now that she knows I have it, she'll probably want it back when she sees this video. <laughs> but I always love this tip, and she does too. Yeah, this is Yelly 100 Watt Plus. That's when we got this one, because that one was gold, and she wanted it to match the gold mod. So, I mean, this one, I mean, it's held up beautifully. Beautifully held up. Even after all those years, I mean, this one's built to last. It really is. These few, these three, are like from when we first started vaping. 
Uh, this one, she, I think we got like the Valentine's Day after we started vaping. That's, that was one of Waffle's favorites for a long time. And uh, this one just had the most odd design that I just had to have it when I first started out. And this one I still use from time to time. It's one of the first ones I ever got. They, have, they still use this design, this same acrylic. Uh, I still see them use it from time to time in a lot of their tips. And it's a shame because I don't have one in a wide bore yet. And I keep saying to myself, I'm gonna get one of these in a wide bore and I still haven't, but one day I'm going to. And one really super nice thing about all their wide bore tips is that they're all eight millimeters <laughs> in size on the bore. Pretty much zero restriction between you and your vapor. They're all like that. That eight millimeter press fit bore is just awesome. And they're sturdy too. These have no wear on them and I've had them for years. They just hold up amazingly well. These, the same original O-rings, even after almost three years now. These are a few of the Waffles favorites, all Mings. She uses these all the time, all the damn time. And they are super colorful, super funky, great, you know, pinks and purples and birthday cake colors. And she loves these things. And this one is my, my latest brand new one. And I got it for my goon. Fortunately, it also fits the headshot from Purge really, really well. So I'm golden. They're always comfortable. They never get hot. They hold up super, super well. I've never had an issue with anything that I've bought from them. My brother-in-law managed to break one somehow. I have no idea how he did that. We talked to them while we were there and they just said, send it over, we'll take care of it. That was it. Just send one that was broken, they're gonna send us a new one, just like that. That's all it took. That's customer service. It's the, the, the way that they say it with a smile, the way that they make you feel super welcome when you're standing by their booth and they're super patient while you're looking at all their tips because it's like hundreds with them to these conventions. And so if you're lucky enough to see them when you're at a convention and uh, you see the Just the Tip booth, definitely take the time to swing by. There's always a crowd, but it's worth the wait to work your way through that crowd to see what they brought with them and see their offerings because there's something that they're gonna bring that's gonna fit every taste. They're gonna have a color palette that will fit any taste there. And if they don't have something there, they'll figure out a way to make it for you and get it to you. They're awesome. There are lots of companies that make really great tips and uh, make beautiful designs in terms of quality, in terms of customer service. I've just never been disappointed with just the tip. So just my opinion, best vendor out there. Absolutely. So if you're in the market for, you know, a higher end style drip tip, just the tip is definitely who I would recommend you checking out. Anyway, till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on vapors.